Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Mage Night. This is Life and Death, Shades of Tesla, and we had a terrible opening draw. We have like the two glades came out in the opening round, like the opening setup, which is really bad because they're just very, very hard to kill at that stage of the game. And not a lot else came out. We basically had two sites come out, or three sites come out in the whole rest of the map. So, not good. And then I made a mistake at the end of the last turn. I decided to take this castle, but what I should have done is actually explored, and then maybe even explored a second time before the end of the round, and got the gold units out, and then taken the castle. So, that was a bad play. And even worse, we're absolutely chock-a-bock full of wounds. And there's a correction to do. So there's a big correction. Basically, at the end of the turn, last turn, look at all these wounds. One, two, three, four, five, six wounds in hand. But at the end of the turn, I drew this card and healed for two. But the thing is, I mistakenly thought that this was a castle. It's actually a tower, which means I drew an extra card. So I drew to seven when I was supposed to draw to six, which means I couldn't have healed... So that's another two wounds to go in there. Not good. You blam. Okay. Also, while I'm here, uh, this is a graveyard. So I'll just put the graveyard there to remind me. I'm pretty sure graveyards, I'll check it when I get there, but I'm pretty sure graveyards don't heal. And that's been another issue. We've had one healing card come out, we've had no healing units and we've had no healing spells. So the healing has been really problematic. The only luck we really had in this round so far is that we have got the swiftness blocker and we've got the guardian golems. So because of the low health of the Tesla monsters, like if they're over here, they low uh, returns. A lot of these monsters, like this one, for example, they have like absorbable damage straight off the bat. So you get that golem, you can basically kill a lot of the, even the even the dungeon elementalist icons can be killed just by absorbing. So that was good. And also there's a lot of swiftness attacks and four block attacks in those uh, necromancer ones. So the four block, these are basically the two best opening heroes uh units we could have got so that was a bit of luck anyway we also drew planning uh to the dummy which really sucks so the question is what the hell am i supposed to do now there's a couple of things i can go here get a crystal and start exploring and try and get xp off the coming core tiles the other option is that I move the necromancer all the way back down this way and try and take over this glade I take this glade, I'm going to get quite a bit of XP. So I get 7 XP, plus I'll get an artifact, and I'll get, be able to start healing. And that could be a way to just get some raw healing. So I've also got a, a, a heal 2 in my hand. That means I could heal 4 out of the potential, what do I have, like 6 wounds in hand. And I think that might be the play for us. And the thing is, we want to heal as much as possible. So our goal is to get down there as quickly as possible. Which means we don't really want to... What have we got here? Okay, so... Let's have a look at the cards. That means we're going to take the right moment. That means once we get there and we take over that little thing, hopefully we'll get three heals out of it. If we can take it, we'll heal on the turn we take it. We'll get another turn to heal, and then we can use the right moment to get a third heal. That's the plan. Very, very bad plan, but it's the plan nonetheless. And this guy, I guess we'll just take great start. Okay, so that gives us a turns of... Four, five, six. So it goes dummy, dryad, necromancer. Okay. Let's get into this. Blamo. 
Beautiful, ends on a red. Now we go to the Dryad. So the Dryad, we have minus one. We've only got blue in here. Four. I would have really liked to have bought this guy. I need six to do it. So that's four. Five. Six. That's four, five, six. We pay with a white crystal. And we're going to grab this bloke. Do I go to the Necromancer? Now he is also... He's also in the keep. Can he buy this guy? What do we need to do this? We need we're at negative one, so we actually only need four to hire that, which means we have this. So we can just go four and hire this bloke. So the way this works is that this guy has the thug recruitment symbol, which is that little thumb, which means that it's negative one. So that's four to hire, basically because these are reverse, so we're actually plus one. And this produces four. Okay, so that's nice, your blammo. Now remember, to assign damage to this unit, we need to pay two influence during combat. So let's go back to our dummy, draw one. And now we're back to our dryad. We're still drawing to six. Okay, so we are gonna go four. Move. Flip this guy over. One, two, three, four. Now, can we kill this guy straight off the bat? We need to produce five attack to kill. So we just block with that. That gives us four block with swiftness. So that blocks his three swiftness because it counts twice. So that's actually eight block. So he's blocked and then we need four, five, six. Actually, let's uh, keep the crystal. I'm going to go bam. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> That's a five block if we pay without the crystal. Yeah, so bam. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I've got this card here. This, uh, this skill, heal one, gain a green or blue mana token. Green doesn't actually help us, does it? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do this. Bam. That's four, five, six, he's dead. Gives us plus one, gives us two, one, two, and we also gain a elementalist token. Now let's go to the good old Necro. So he needs to get down here as quickly as possible. We definitely got four move. Maybe I should just go here. What, what? How much combat have I got? I've got four, five, six combat in hand. Plus I've got this, it is daytime though. Dens do not have night rules. So that's five to get in there. So that's one, two, three, four. I'm just going to go five like that. Coming back down here, blam, blam, blam. It's green. That's plus one. And we're drawing up to, we're still plus one. So we're drawing up to six still. 
Okay, so we have the gems. We have influence two. Uh, I need three to move in there. So that's one, two, one, two, three to move in. Plus we'll do the gems. Ya blam blam, ya blam blam. That gives us a blue and a red. Nice. Up to the necro. Oh wait, uh, hang on. I forgot to. I forgot to move this guy. Boom. So he gets a a white crystal. And uh, we only we only have two keeps. This is that error that screwed up last last game. Uh, draw five. Yeah, blamo. Okay, let's go. Four. That gets us in here. And you blam, you blam, you blam, and you blam. Back to the necro. Draw, we're drawing five now, aren't we? Yeah, we're drawing five. You blam. Okay, what have we got here? We have, this is a graveyard, meaning that it does not heal. So we've got to be a little bit careful here. Let's use my skill. So what have we got here? We have, we can move in with this, right? We've got a green, so that gives us plus two attack. Then we've got four, five attack. And we can use this thing here. And then we take three wounds. I guess I can do one. Take two wounds. Yes, okay. So this skill basically says, for a single calculation of incoming damage, double your armor value and gain two wounds instead of one for each wound added to your hand and three wounds instead of one for each wound added to your discard pile. This would give us four wounds and we'd end up with two. So it doesn't really help us, does it? Not in this case. Okay, so we're doing this, that blocks this guy, he's blocked. We block this, we take two wounds. And we're going to use this ability here, which is heal one and gain a mana token. So that gets rid of that wound that we started with and gives us a mana token. So we've produced four, uh, four move that gets us in. Then we've produced add plus two to attack card type. So that gives us Four attack, four, five, six, which is all we need to kill this guy. And then I can do double block, getting rid of this. And I use the fire gem to make this an, a, a fire attack. So this guy has ice. So if I attack, Mage Knight attacks with fire, he blocks with ice, it's one to one. So that kills him and we get one wound in hand. This thing goes back over here. Gets in here. And these guys are all dead, you blammo. It gives us four. One, two, three, four. And we gain a necromantic token. Come on, necromancer. Draw to five, you blammo. 
Okay. I haven't got a lot of power here. I've got four. What's this spell do? Place this skill in the source. While in the source, a friendly unit can return this skill to you face down to gain block equal to your reputation value. Reputation value is negative one. You ignore the negative, so that's plus one. So we're actually at four here. So that doesn't actually help us. It's still two wounds from each one. So I'll just return this. Right, let me have a look here. We've got four attack, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attack. We need seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven attack. Nine, ten, eleven. So if I do this, I will kill him, kill both of them, but I'll take one, two, three, four wounds. And he's got a lot of wounds already. Oh my God, I've got this thing. I should have used that to buy uh, this unit and then I didn't have to, uh, oh well, doesn't matter. I'll remember that next time because this is worth three reputation. Okay, so this will kill him. So I do four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that's eleven damage, which will kill both these guys. So that'll actually work. We have this thing here to give us a mana token, which is nice. And then I can heal two out of the wounds I take. So I only take two wounds. The alternative is I could block this guy using fire block four. That would block four of this stuff, I'm pretty sure. So he attacks with ice, I block with fire. It's one to one. So that would give that would leave two ice left to block, which means I need to block with four. So I could do this and that. These two together will block this guy. So I'm now only taking two wounds. And now I'm doing four. I can kill him, and this guy will not be killed. And I could actually tap these guys for two reputation and wound this bloke. So I'd take one wound, kill this guy alone. And this guy would be left for next turn. I think that's the worst plan. Because I'd still need to fight this guy next turn. And most likely take two wounds. So I'm not actually gaining anything. I'm just losing time. So this is that's what we're going to do. So to recap. I'm going to tap this. This creates a basic mana token. I'll create a red. First, these guys attack. He does two damage. He does two damage. So that's four. One, two, three, four. I then attack for one, two, three, four, five. Reputation minus one. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four and seven is eleven. So these guys are all dead. Your blammo, and then I'll just do a heal while I'm here. And that heals two. Your blammo, and I finish my turn on the glade. I'm on a glade, so I get to heal one. Nice, and now I can basically just sit there and heal all these goddamn wounds. I should be full of wounds. I don't know why I haven't got more wounds in my hand. Okay, so over here we get three and four, that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've leveled up, but 
also we've taken over a glade, an elementalist glade, which means we get a uh, artifact or oh, definitely taking banner of protection. I, I'm not a big fan of this soul harvest card. I do like that it's attack three for nothing, but the thing is we've got this golem. So this basically turns the golem into, oh, I don't put that in my hand, don't I? This, this turns the golem into plus one armor and he gets fire and ice. So he's already got physical and now he's gonna have four physical fire and ice. So he's gonna be really good. This is a great card if you've got a resistance person. And I get to level up. So let's just drag out the next two cards, five and one. Oh, I'm gonna use one. I'll talk about this when I get to use it, but one is one of the necromantic tokens that allows you to bring people back to life. So that's awesome. And we need a card. So this is a card that I think a lot of people play wrong based on what I've seen. So this says you cannot assign damage to your units, right? But it sort of increases block values by two. So a lot of people think, oh, you know, I'll use that with the golem and I now have five block. But the thing is the absorption of damage is actually during the wound placement step. So you cannot use this guy to absorb damage only for uh, adding to the block, which is the fire block, the ice block, or the attack block. I see people confuse that all the time in other people's playthroughs. I don't know why that card is confusing people, but it's adding block, not adding armor. So uh, this isn't actually very good for us. I don't like this card. I do like throwaway cards, but not this particular card. I like cards that you throw away and they replace the card you threw it away with a better card more than these ones, which just deplete your deck. So that leaves a spell force as the only card we can really realistically take. Still, that was not a bad turn. So my plan is working, baby. Uh, dummy. You blam, you blam, you blam. Okay. And final turn. We should be able to take out this last dude. What's this? Oh, Vampire Chalice. After combat this turn, for each enemy you defeated, you may discard a wound to a maximum of four. Okay, so we can discard one wound. We need five to kill. We've got here three. Have to do this. Three, four, five, that kills him and it is ranged so we can kill this guy before he attacks. So that's the end of that. You blam. There's another two, one, two. And we have liberated this glade. Well, it's not a glade, it's a graveyard. Now when you liberate graveyards, unfortunately it doesn't have heal, but we do get to have pick out a card here what have we got here i think expose is going to be really good for us later on when we're attacking the big cities i do like charm yeah i have to take expose i guess misform excellent okay your blamo back to this bloke so he is going to play his new artifact like so. I'm also going to just do some crystal generation. There's white, green, and blue. So I'm going to take a blue and a green. So this just allows you to pick uh, crystals based on two, two spells. And then I heal on the glade. Oh, and I get a reputation minus one for using that thug, don't I? Blamo. Dummy. He's now declaring end of round. Dryad. Drop to five. Ugh. 
So he's going to go four movement. Let's bring out the next card. Ah, oh, this is a city tile. Excellent. Finally. So we just click include gold units. And we found the green city. So this goes here. This is a green. Oh, I forgot to put a castle there. That's a green and a green dude and another green dude and another green dude. Okay, so let's have a look at the elementalist. Seven. Wow. We got to do seven uh, petrify. That is pretty harsh. Okay. It's, and that's the end of that. What's this? Oh, I forgot to use vampiric chalice. Did I actually throw away a wound? One, two, three, four, five. I did. Okay. So that's the end of that. He's got no more turns. I think I'm just going to take that crystal off. It's a mild cheat. Yeah, blamo. So that's the end of his turn. Now we go to the Necromancer. He's going to draw up to five. He's going to... He has a wound, so he's going to... Let me just think. Maybe I should... Maybe I should kill this guy. What's the spell like in the offer? Misform, that is a good spell for us. I need seven to kill. Five, six, seven. And I need... I have a gold mana because I'm on a... on a thingo. Problem is, I would take another, what, four wounds. Yeah, I'm just going to keep to my original plan. So I'm just going to discard a card that ends the turn. It lets me do, do a heal. And then I'm going to do the right moment, which allows me. I'm also going to discard all these cards. Then I do right moment, so I draw up to five. Okay. So I do a heal. I heal one. I do flam. I use this and I take another green mana. Let's go back. And then I finish my turn on the glade and I heal this. You blammo. And now we go back to the dummy. And that is the end of the turn. So let's just go blam blam. This gets put into here. We add a white token. We deal out gold units this time. So we've got heroes and we've got sorcerers. Yes. Now sorcerers, that is an awesome card. And I can buy that for nine at the tower. Maybe I should keep this if I, yeah. Now, how does that, how does that work? It's been so long. I can discard banners at the end of my round, right? They may, does not have to, discard any banner artifacts assigned to their units at this moment. So I'm actually going to discard this as well. Okay. So it's now at night time. You blammo. Reshuffle you, reshuffle you. I feel like that was a good turn. It was a it was a bit cumbersome. We had to come all the way down here. We skipped during a combat, but we did heal a metric ton. We healed what? We healed 
I think three off the glade, plus we healed a two heal from my healing card and one heal from rejuvenation. So, I mean, that was like, what, six? I think we had seven, so there should be one more wound in my deck. Oh, there's another card I haven't discarded yet. Okay, again, the mana needs to be re-rolled. The way I play with friendly mana is that you need less than half of the mana in the source has to be non-basic. So that is actually really good. So it's got a black and it's got the colors. Nice. Okay. Wish I had that. Glade thing I had. Oh, I used Vampiric Embrace, didn't I? Okay. Well, that is the end of this turn. I think, I feel like I did a good turn then. I feel like that was a good turn. Next turn, the Necromancer can come in here. Let's see what the new spell is. Earthquake, excellent. Oh, actually, I might get Misform, actually. I'll get Misform so I can move quicker. I can get all the way up to here. Then I can fight that. Then I can move out this way and start moving in this direction and help him kill this guy. This is still a problem for us. It's got Petrify and seven attack. So we need to, we need to be able to kill that dragon. Yeah, so we still have leveled up pretty slow. What are we? We're on day three. Is this a four? Is this a four or a three day turn? Life and death co-op. Oh, this just plays forever. It doesn't say. When both faction leaders are defeated, all players except the dummy player have one last turn. The round ends and the game ends immediately. It doesn't say... Well, it doesn't end. It doesn't have a day limit. I'll look that up. I thought it did. Whatever. The point. Oh, we got the dummy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. The point is, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.